Hello guys, we are back with the next next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the next question, guys. So this question belongs to Gate CSE two thousand sixteen set to one question fifty one. Okay, yes. So let us start. So let Q denotes a Q containing six numbers. Sorry, sixteen numbers. My bad. Sixteen numbers and yes, B A empty stack. Okay. So here Q H head Q returns the element at the head. Okay and Element of the queue without removing the element from the queue. So basically, it will just return. It is not going to delete it. Okay. Similarly, top of yes returns the element of the stack. Okay. So without removing it. Okay. So consider the algorithm given below. Okay. So this is the few lines of algorithm which is given. So he is asking the maximum number of possible number of iterations of while loop. Okay. So how many times this loop will execute is the question. And the question is maximum number of times. Okay. So this question seems to be really interesting, guys. Okay, yes. So let us start understanding the behind what is the logic for this thing to execute longer time. Okay, yes. So here the first thing what we are doing is if yes is empty or top of the stack is less than or equal to head, then we are executing the DQ operation and pushing it into the queue. Okay, else we are popping the value and enqueuing it. Okay, so it is a a combination of queue and stack operations, right? Yes. So those are sixteen numbers, right? Yes. So let us try taking four numbers, guys. So why we should make it complex by taking sixteen numbers? Shall we take two numbers or three numbers, guys? Because that will be easy, right? Yes. So simply let us take three numbers. What's there in that? Okay. So three numbers. Let us take one, two, and three. Okay. On a smaller case, it is easy to solve, right? So that's the reason why I'm taking smaller numbers. Okay, so one, two, and three. Okay, so let us start. So one, two, and three are the things. So where are they exactly? So initially, the Q denotes the Q containing sixteen elements, and yes, be the stack. So these three values are in Q, guys. Okay, yes. So let us start. So if yes is empty. Or top of yes is less than head. So basically here yes is empty, right? So that is the reason why the first element is dequeued. So basically this one will be dequeued and it will be pushed into the stack. So we have pushed it into the stack. Okay. So in the next iteration, so basically that is first iteration, guys. Okay. So first iteration is done. So in the second iteration, what is going to be done? So it will compare top of the stack is less than or equal to head. So if it is less than or equal to head. It will do the operation. So, is it less than or equal to head? Yes, this value is greater, right? Yes, hence this will be pushed and this will also be popped. Okay. Similarly, continuing, this will also be popped and this will also be pushed, right? Yes. So now our queue is empty. So means our loop is stopped. Okay. So if we have three elements in ascending order, the value is three. Simple. Okay. So now let us take in descending order. I think if we take descending order, the game will change. Okay. Yes. So let us try three, two, and one. Okay. So let us take a Q. So three, two, one. So let us stack the stack. Okay. Okay. So let us start. Okay. So what is the first thing, guys? So it will check whether the stack is empty. So it will push a three. Okay. So after that loop, after first rotation, it will check whether the stack is empty. So basically, stack is not empty, and the top of a stack. Should be less than a head of a Q. Is it true, guys? No. Three is greater, right? Hence, it will go to the else operation. So, in else operation, what it will do? It will pop the element. Okay. So, this element will come out. Okay. And it will be pushed into the Q. Okay. So, now the list has been shifted, right? Okay. So, the element has been shifted. Okay. So, again, the element has been lost. So, again, the process will continue. So, again, two times is done. Third time, fourth time. So, in fourth time, what it will do? it will do the it will push two okay and it will delete from here it will push a two here okay so after that again it will check two is a greater than one so again this will be popped out and it will be pushed here okay so this is also popped so after that one will come here so after one came here so again it will check whether three is greater or one is greater so it is satisfying so three will be pushed here okay okay so now i am getting the idea about this guys so basically any order you give it will push in ascending order guys So you will get one, two, three, four, five, six. So in that way. Okay. So now I am getting some basic idea about how this function will work, guys. So basically, if you give a descending order of sixteen elements, sixteen, fifteen, fourteen, thirteen, twelve, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, it will first push each and every element. So it will take two times this. Okay. So it will push and it will pop. 
okay and it will push and pop push and pop so in that way it will continue until one and at the end it will push this item guys okay it will push that item and it will again restart the whole process until it reaches to again okay so this looks really familiar right if you ask me yes so this is a simple uh, logic guys it is nothing but uh, if you observe so it is a uh, taking uh, how many times guys it will be taking uh, two times uh, 15 right yes so in this way if you compute so basically it will take n square guys so how many times your value is there that square it will take guys that is the logic here okay yes so basically if you observe here it will take n minus 1 into 2 operations for each and everything right it will take how many before are there into 2 plus 1 also right yes so it is nothing but n square guys that is nothing but 16 square is our answer that is a 256, right? Yes. Okay. So I hope everyone got a clear idea, right? So how I am saying it will be n square. So basically it will do this operation multiple times, right? So it will, you can even say in terms of 2 into 2 into 2 into also, it's okay. Right? Yes. Okay. So I hope everyone got a clear idea. So in the next lecture, let us continue with the next question, guys. Okay. Yes. So let us meet in the next lecture. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Like, share and subscribe for more awesome videos like this. Thank you.